Ciao, I'm Chiara from Perfile Segno and welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to crochet this rainbow rug with a simple granny stitch. This project is very easy and quick to do so it's perfect for the beginners. For this project I use one skin of Mantra from Mondial in these beautiful rainbow colors. You can find uh, all information that you need in the description box. And uh, a 7 mm hook. Ok, now we are going to create a rectangle about 19 centimeters or 35 uh, inches long and 58 centimeters or 22 inches wide here i've worked seven stripes one for each color of the rainbow and i've worked uh, eight rows of simple granny stitch for each stripe for this pattern we will need to work a foundation chain with a multiple of 3 plus 2 and we will need to work a set of 2 rows to complete this pattern. So for this rug you will need to chain 62 but now I want to show you how to work this simple granny stitch using a small sample and for this sample we are going to chain 17. Ok, now we do one double crochet in the fourth chain from hook, skip the next two chains, then we do a group of three double crochets into the next one. Skip the next two chains, then we do another group of three double crochets into the third one. Skip the next two chains, then we do another group into the third one. So we do three double crochets into the same chain. So now skip the next two chains then we do one double crochet into the last two chains so we skip the next two chains then we do one double crochet then we do another double crochet okay now we are going to work into the uh, spaces between each group so first chain three this count as your first double crochet then turn the work then we do three double crochets into the first space now we move directly into the next space between the two groups of the previous row where we do another group of three double crochets and continue to do this until the end of this row Now we jump into the last space where we do another group of three double crochets. Then we do one double crochet into the last stitch. Into the third chain. Ok, all we have to do now is to repeat this set of two rows, so let's repeat together one more time. So first, uh, in the first row of the partner, we start with two double crochets, so first chain three, this count as your first double crochet, then turn the work. 
and now we do one double crochet more into this first space so now we have two double crochets now we move directly into the space between the two groups of uh, the previous row where we do another group of three double crochets now we move directly into the next space where we do another group of three double crochets and now we do one double crochet here in this little space then we do another double crochet into the third chain to complete this first row of the partner so now let's repeat together the second row of the partner for the second row we start with one double crochet so chain three then turn the work and now we jump into the first space where we do three double crochets then we move into the next space where we do another group of three double crochets and continue to do this until the end of this row Okay, now we do one double crochet into the third chain so all you have to do now is to repeat this set of two rows as you can see here I've done eight rows for each stripe for each color so now I'm going to show you with this sim little sim sample how to change color so we do the last double crochet and we leave two loops on the hook so now cut the yarn then wrap the new collar around the end of the hook then pull the new yarn through the loops to start the new collar i do a simple knot with the two ends of the two colors in this way so now try to work with the two yarns inside and then we continue with the partner as we did before I suggest weaving the tails inside the work using a tapestry needle before start with a new color. All we have to do now is to repeat this set of two rows until we reach uh, the desired length. So 
So now let me show you the finished rug. This is a great project for the beginners because it's very easy and very quick to do. I really like this yarn because it's very easy to work with crochet and it's very soft to touch. And you can find this yarn in 26 beautiful and bright colors. You can find more information in the info box below. So I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, let me know in the comments down below, remember to tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you created your rainbow rug, I will leave all the links that you need in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to click on bell icon to get notifications, so thank you for watching and I see you in the next video, ciao and tanto love!